Um, hi, my name is uh, Eddie Curry. Um, and, you know, for the last uh, few, the last few days, I've been going back and forth with, um, you know, trying to do a little research um, before I spoke about just um, everything going on over in Israel. And um, I'm like, let me educate myself. Let me become kind of, I, I don't want to speak from a place of ignorance and I don't want to speak from a place of anger. Um, and I'm just, I can't, I kind of, I kind of got to a point where I'm like, what am I, what is there to learn? You know, um, of course I can learn. I can sit and I can just say, okay, well, what was happening, you know, a hundred years ago, what was happening 75, 80 years ago. But it's like, at the end of the day, uh, what really hits home for me and what really just just destroys me on the inside is um, no amount of education will ever um, justify killing of innocent people, uh, kidnapping innocent people, um, killing baby babies, man, beheading babies and killing women and children like It's disgusting, man, honestly. And, um, you know, I I just got to a point where I realized no matter no matter how much I sit and I pray and I think about what's the perfect thing to say, what can I say, what can I say? You know, all I could do is to say that um, I have a lot of friends, a lot of friends, a lot of close friends, friends that I almost would call family um, in Israel, uh, people that frequent uh, Israel all the time. Um, I had my wife, you know, myself and my wife, you know, have been to Israel. We plan on going back to Israel. Um, and it's, and it's, uh, it's, 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 it's just disgusting, man, to see just the lack of humanity, hu hu humanity, man, the, the lack of humanity, the lack of, uh, just respect for a human life. Um, in my in my own community, um, I'm you know I'm from Chicago, and um, we often wonder like, is there a value on the black life, you know? And a lot of times I have to catch myself because I realize that I can't blame all of, all of my people for what's going on in Chicago. I realize that's an isolated group, but I think at some point um, you you have to hold the you know, the offenders uh, responsible. Um, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not privy. I'm not educated enough to just, uh, to just, to just, to know everything that's going on. Um, like I said, um, and that is something that I want to do. I want to definitely take the time. I want to ask questions. I want to get with the right people to know what's going on because I really feel like um I just really feel like no matter no matter what I no matter what I find out at the end of the day no matter what conclusion I come to as to you know why something like this is happening why the feud is happening in the first place there's just no place for uh killing of innocent people there's no place there's no there's no place in in, in our world for that um super super counterproductive super hurtful super harmful to the human race as a whole and uh it's evil and um you know i'm constantly praying daily uh trying to find the words trying to find the words to tell my children you know about what's about just this world we live in so i don't have the right words um i do i do know that uh you know i'm definitely standing with uh with with uh my brothers my brothers from israel um really 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 incredible friendships, lifelong friendships that I've made over there, really good people. And there's nothing, it's nothing anybody can tell me about the people that I know um, in my heart are great, great people, man. And I know that they don't deserve, you know, they don't deserve what's going on. So nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves that, man. I'm sorry. So I don't know. I don't know who's going to see this. I don't know who's going to, I don't know. And I just wanted to kind of put my, my thoughts. I'm just kind of verbalizing my thoughts um, as I try to educate myself. And as I try to come to grips with um, just this evil world that we are living in. Um, so uh, my prayers are 
you know, to 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 all my my my, my friends, my my brothers, my my family. I mean, I have a, a nephew. <laughs> I have a nephew that was so so proud to uh, to join join the Navy, man. He was so proud, and you know, we we it was it was a a, a breath a sigh of relief when he joined the Navy because we were like, man, you know, he knows what he wants to do. You know, he's he's giving himself up to a bigger cause. And he just got deployed, man, over there. So it's like, it's tough. It's tough, man. So I'm, 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 I'm fighting. I'm fighting the words. I'm fighting the thoughts. Uh, I, I'm going to reserve a lot of my thoughts for a later time, for a time, you know, after I'm educated. But regardless of the education, regardless of what I learn, I do know that there's no place in our world for, um, you know, racism for you know, anti-Semitism, uh, um, it's just no place for it. So, man, I just, uh, I pray everyone who's affected by this, this, this massacre, man, this, 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 this terrorist act, man, I, I pray that everyone uh, can find, uh, I don't even know how you begin to find peace, but just know that we are mourning with you and we, um, you know, we definitely are praying for a better tomorrow. We're praying, praying for some sort of peaceful solution. And I know peaceful solution is it seems so far away when 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 you look at the carnage and the human life, the the women, the children, the innocents that were that are affected by this man, the friends and the families that will never be the same. Uh, I just pray for them, man. Uh, I love my brothers, love my extended family. And I hope uh, hope we can figure this thing out.